Glory be to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to learn at your feet once again. Lord, as we go into your word this time, we pray that you will speak to our hearts. Bless us through your words, and at the end of our race, please help us to reign with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Welcome to another episode of Bible Lessons. Bible Lesson, it's an opportunity for us to dig deep into the Word of God and gain some lessons that will help us even as we join in, in life. We are going to the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. John chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We are looking at the first aspect of this Bible verse in the beginning. So we're talking about the ultimate beginning. In the beginning was the world. When we talk about beginning, there's a version of the Bible that's an amplified version that says, for that beginning, the amplified uh, version says, before all time. So the beginning literally means the earliest stage of something. The beginning means the point in time or space at which something begins. So in the beginning, there are lessons for us to learn from here. Lesson number one is that there is a beginning before all beginnings. Oh, you may say your own beginning was the day you were giving birth to here on earth. The beginning of your career, maybe the day you started that career. The beginning of your business, maybe the day you are uh, enter into the business. The beginning of your marriage, the day you and your wife or your husband were joined together. The beginning of your academic pursuit, the day you gain admission into one school at one level or the other. The beginning, there are a lot of beginnings, but there is one beginning that began before all the beginnings. And that is the ultimate beginning. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Where were you? In that, uh, that, uh, that, that beginning we are referring to in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Where were you? So there is one beginning, okay, before all beginnings. So you must not forget that. Lesson two to learn from this Bible verse is that there is nothing in this world that does not have a beginning. Not knowing it does not mean that it does not exist. You may not know the beginning of what you are going through, but it has a beginning. You may not know the beginning of a particular problem, or particular victory, but it has a beginning. There are enjoyment, there are benefits you are enjoying today that you don't even know the beginning. Probably someone began it sometimes in the past, and you are opportune to be one of the beneficiaries. So there is nothing in this world that does not have a beginning. So when you are going through a problem, what you need to do at times is to sit and try to trace to the beginning. I don't know whether you've experienced this. You are looking for something, maybe your car key or house key, and you are just like, you search everywhere. At times, you just sit down and say, let me try and flash back where were the places I visited. Okay, I went to my friend's place from there. I entered the room. I entered the sitting room. I entered the... You, and you begin to... You, what, what, are you, what are you trying to say to do? You are trying to locate the beginning of that process. So I don't know the stage you are in in your life. There is a beginning. There are times that you find yourself in trouble. You just discover that you are angry. You just discover that you are offended. You are sad. And you, if, and you don't know why. And anybody that comes around you at that point in time might take a share of your feeling at that moment. And uh, God save you if that person is meeting you for the first time. So they will just conclude that you are this type of person. So at times you need to sit down and ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Can I locate the beginning of this mood, of this feeling? Can I locate? At times you are happy and you are like, 
What's going on? Some people even ask you, what, what has happened to you? So there is nothing in this world that even your Christian journey, it has a beginning. That's why the Bible says, if any man is in Christ, a new creature, all things have passed away. All things become, that's the beginning of a journey with Christ. So you must have this understanding. Lesson number three, there are benefits. There are benefits for you when you are able to have the knowledge of the beginning. Those who have the accurate knowledge of the beginning of a thing, we always have the greatest benefit from that thing. I will use a story in the book of John chapter 9 to explain this. John chapter 9 from verse 1, Jesus was passing by and he met a man that was born blind. The disciples saw the man, Jesus saw the man, but the thoughts of the disciples were different from the thoughts of Jesus about the man. You are seeing the same thing and different people, you know, seeing the same thing, having different thoughts about that thing. There are some that their own thoughts will lead them to another problem. There are some their own thoughts will lead them into victory. Why? The knowledge of the, 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 the level of your awareness about the beginning of that thing. Now, the disciples saw the man and straight away they felt, oh, this man is suffering because of the sin committed by the parents. So they asked Jesus, who sinned? Was it the mother or the father? And Jesus answered, because Jesus had the understanding of the beginning. He said, no. It wasn't the sin of the parents, but it was for the glory of God to be made manifest in the life of this person. That was the beginning. And because of this accurate knowledge of the beginning, Jesus knew that it is right time, it is the right time for that glory to be made manifest in the life of this blind man. You are mixing up things because you have no knowledge of the beginning. At times before you take the next step, before you act, before you react, before you respond, please try to find out. You may not have the 100% knowledge of the beginning, but sometimes 50% is enough for you to move. The ultimate beginning, in the beginning. So when you have the understanding of the beginning, your thought will be different. Jesus' thought was different. Jesus was not attributing that uh, uh, predicament to the sin of the parent. If it, uh, the Jesus left this man in the hands of the disciples, they will, go and, they will say, go and call your parents. And they will ask the parent, come and confess your sin. And do you know what? They will always have one sin to confess. There are times that um, we create many problems to solve one problem because we don't have the in-depth understanding of the beginning. We don't. Efforts are being wasted because you don't have the understanding of the beginning. When you have the understanding of the beginning, you won't waste your effort. You go to the right place. The beginning, the foundation, the origin of a thing. Remember the axe head. It fell into the water. And uh, the, the man of God said, where, show me where. Show me the beginning. Show me the foundation. Show me the origin. Show me where it is. And the miracle took place. Miracles are available for you. But some will not be obvious, will not be activated until you know the beginning. Lesson four. When you have no control over a particular beginning, Hand it over to the ultimate beginning. You have the awareness that, okay, this is the beginning of my problem. And it seems as if you cannot do anything about it. At that point in time, go to John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. Something was at the beginning. In the next episode, if God permits, I'm going to be giving you two things that you must know about the beginning. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. In John chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says in the beginning was the word. So God did something in the beginning. Then there was something in the beginning. Oh, we discuss that in the next episode, if God permits. But one thing I want you to have the understanding of is, you see, there are troubles you are putting yourself into. But try to locate the beginning. The job you are doing now, it has a beginning. Are you having issue, conflict with someone, maybe in your place of work, 
or even in the church of God. Maybe it was not like that. The relationship was not like that before. But now, something just went wrong. It has a beginning. Try to locate the beginning. You will be able to handle issues when you locate the beginning. There are times that you just see that, oh, I, could, I couldn't sleep again. Maybe in terms of your health, sickness will not just come. It has a beginning. Maybe all those times that you have been stressing yourself, you are not resting, and you are thinking all is well, you are, you are starting a process. There are things you are doing now. It's the beginning of something that will come in the future. So if you have this understanding, you will ask yourself, what am I beginning now? What am I starting? What is that thing? What, what foundation am I laying for myself? There are some that, they, 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 uh, I mean, let me share a story of uh, what my fellowship president shared with us while we were on campus. And he said, whosoever is going to fail at the end of our program will not just fail at that end. That the failure will start at the beginning of this program. Yeah. Yeah. So, please have this knowledge of the beginning. And don't forget... If you have the knowledge of the beginning and it seems as if it's beyond your capacity, hand it over to the ultimate beginning. There are times that you pray, you know that something is wrong and you pray, God might reveal to you. Sometimes you trace the only beginning you know is your forefather's background, uh, the background of your grandmother and all that. And there is one beginning before that beginning. So when you even discover that, don't conclude. Take it to the ultimate beginning. Jesus said, I'm the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. You are there, you are not giving your life to Jesus. The beginning is calling on you. Is there anything you are hiding? Don't just jump and go and take your, you know, take Bible and take and go and fast. No. It's a time to settle down and, and treat the beginning first before you take certain steps. You have a lot of people you are having quarreling with. You, 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 you have conflict with this and uh, you are keeping malice, you know, and you go to the church to pray at times. You know, that's why the Bible says you want to drop your offering and you remember you have issue with your friend. Keep the offering, go and say to it and come back. It's talking about what? The beginning. So if the Bible says if the foundation be what? Be uh, uh, destroyed, what can the righteous do? So, you might be righteous in between, but if you have not dealt with the beginning, you might keep on solving problems. There are people that are living their life solving problems. No, God did not create you to just be solving problems. You, as you leave this problem, you enter another one. As you leave this, you enter another one. As you leave it, when do you want to even enjoy your life? There might be things you need to go and address at the beginning. And don't forget... And it over to the ultimate beginning. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word you've sent to us this time. We pray that you will open our understanding and you will help us to begin to apply all this knowledge in the name of Jesus. For as many, O oh God, that um, are battling with one problem or the other and they don't even know how they entered into that problem. They don't know where it start, when it started. I pray that the ultimate beginning will intervene and we set them free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you for listening. God bless you in Jesus' name.